Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I know it's September, but it's not just any September, it's Friday the 13th. And that is kind of getting closer to October. So why not to make this super fast design easy to, and it's an idea for Friday the 13th, right? Jason, yes. And I, I saw the, that picture and I was like, yeah, let's do that. I think it's easy, it's fast, you don't need glue dots, which is kind of cool sometimes, right? And it's all 100% balloons and some Sharpie time. And it can be, yes, on a bracelet. It can be on a bracelet. So you can put it right here for picture time. Or sometimes it's fun if you make it as a wand or with a stick here. So then people just hold it and have it for picture time. So this is the idea. Now, if you want, of course, you can put here some blood, but I don't know if he, you know, it's already a zombie, so it doesn't have really red blood. I don't know. You give it a try, play with this idea. If you add a light inside this balloon, imagine it's gonna be glowing. So <laughs> that can be even better. And uh, well, let's start there. Uh, at the end of my videos, I'm gonna share with you my new t-shirt from Colorful Inflations. Because you think, oh, this is a new t-shirt. Well, this is kind of, yes, a new one because I haven't used it for an event yet. But this is gonna be one of the outfits I'm gonna be wearing this shirt for um, my Halloween events that starts in October. So check it out, pay attention on my live videos because I'm, I'm gonna be wearing this a lot on October. But, 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 I'm so excited because yeah, this is October Halloween season, but also what happened if I have a birthday party? So I have now my new outfit I'm gonna show you because tomorrow I'm planning to wear it. Tomorrow I have a festival, Greek festival, and look, look at this. This is the shirt, I love it. Why I love it so much? Because one thing, these colors are kind of more basic uh, colors, you know, red, yellow, blue, and it can totally match my shirt, my, my, my tennis shoes. I have, you know, Converse and bands that are kind of like uh, red, yellow, some purple even there, but kind of like really cool colors that I bought it very cheap, you know, and bands and, and Converse. And sometimes they have this line for, um, what is, the Pride, you know, the Pride Month, and they came with colorful shoes, which I love it because then I can use it. <laughs> and they sell it very cheap after, you know, what is the ending of Pride Month. And so, yes, it totally is going to match this type of shirt that I found on Colorful Inflation. And I'm so happy because now I have it. And the delivery is kind of fast. That's going to, it's really cool. So, look, I have my skirt that is another skate skirt. It fits great, you know, and I'm large, so my outfit is large, and that's great. For t-shirts, you know, what I notice is better for me, more comfortable, extra large. But for skirts and pants, large. So that's kind of cool. Um, and the material, you know, it seems really cool, very bright, the colors, and I love it. Very soft. So that is going to be more... Uh, Tomorrow I'm going to do a live video at the event, so you're going to see, because look, I have even the socks. And um, I got so excited because this is, for me, one of my favorite patterns, you know, the style. And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to wear it tomorrow on my live video, so stay tuned. And I wear this with some uh, shorts. So this is my own, you know, shorts you can find me at Walmart. So then, uh, you know, you just wear it under your skirt. So that's my outfit. I'm super happy. And stay tuned on October, I'm going to be wearing this also with a skirt. And if it's cold, I'm going to be wearing leggings. So this is kind of big, but it's still cool. You see this one, for example, it's extra large, but it still fit me because the other one that I have pink is also extra large. So, and I have also the socks. So I'm super excited because last time, um, if you check my last, my la, um, what is live video, uh, it was an October fest and another festival in Colorado. It was super cool because a lot of people was giving me compliments about my outfit. And, you know, it makes me feel like, yeah, people like said, you know, they take pictures. So I love it. I love it. Super comfortable to wear. And um, I totally recommend it. So if you are curious, what is all these new outfits in for balloon twisters? Check out the website, colorfulinflations.com. There's different styles. For example, I decide to buy... Uh, yesterday I went to the website and I bought this type of a style shirt for Halloween, but green now. So I have two versions that I can combine it with my skirt. And also I went ahead and, and I bought the leggings that goes with this pattern. 
so I can kind of mix things. So that's the best part about, you know, all the style there. Check it out, make your own style, have fun. I also, I also bought my funny pack and it's kind of what is curry pack. It's something like in Spanish, we say canguro, you know, and I'm super excited because I didn't know. And so I asked how it's going, look inside and inside have pockets too, inside the funny pack. So I'm so excited to have all that. So let's see when it comes and I will share it with you how it looks. Okay, Cecilia, you say you're gonna talk about it at the end. I know, but that's kind of the intro. And this is a very fast design, trust me. What you just already see, you can make it as a bracelet or you can make it as a wand. And it's a lot of different ways. Uh, I'm gonna make this one. If you want as a bracelet, you know, just petals, eight petals, seven, six petals, five petal flower. This is a balloon 260 and all the balloons I'm gonna be using also, I'm gonna say thank you so much, Elitex. Okay, because Elitex, you know, provide me of their new balloons. This is a new brand of balloons and I think it works great with this. The only one that is not Elitex and all this design is that linking balloon because yes, it's a linking balloon. That's the whole trick. The whole trick is the linking balloon from Decomex. So then the other balloons, or the other pieces, it's uh, pretty much Elitex. So I'm gonna uh, start and use one of the Black's Elitex that you can inflate it. This is a 260. If you want as a one, I'm gonna just quickly show you how we look if you want it as a one. Okay. And I just make it inflate it three finger top and making three petals. Okay, and then the rest is squish, a stretch, and you can bend it, and so that is a wand. That is one way, and then attach, and that's a wand. Yes. Another way to make a wand or a stick is just make instead of three, you make five petals. Okay. Blacks and text have is I think one of the most darkest, you know, like you cannot see through, very thick. That's kind of cool for the blacks. So you make five petals and whatever is left, it's kind of cool because people grab it and it can be appearing, you know, somewhere here. So hands cannot be in the picture. So they just see the wand and with the balloon here. It's up to you, you decide which style. I'm gonna leave it mine this time like this, okay? So, five petals and the rest goes all the way here in Freddy Three Finger Tail. Now let's go with the linking balloon and you just inflate it uh, and tie it cl close to the nozzle. So I'm just looking for a manual inflator. You know why? Because that doesn't make too much noise. Let's see, pam, 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 pam. Now you lose the air and you have something like it's like five inches round, but you're gonna tie it close to the nozzle. So now from here, you're gonna squish up, squish, push up, you know, the air and kind of split it in half. That's what you want. Now you can do this now, you know, like close it, but this is the thing. If you know that it's gonna be a knife going through, so why not let's make the knife first, okay? So now you just have it here for a moment and let's make the knife. You don't need the entire balloon, but it's chrome. And again, this new brand, it's Elitex. It's a new balloon brand. Where to get it? People ask me, where can I buy this? Uh, well, you can go to uh, All American Balloons, uh, the website, All American Balloons. They are really good uh, store that you can order online. So go to All American Balloons and you can see, you know, they have this new brand, Elitex. And guess what? This brand soon, they're gonna have balloons, printed balloons. So stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot of cool printed balloons from this brand, Elitex. Okay, so now you know, okay? So let's now try. I already used one piece uh, of the chrome. They have these crumbs and I'm gonna use the other one. So um, just because it's not really much that you need, so just inflate it. Let's see. Something, let's see. Mm, if you want excellent, you know, ending, you just use the end. But in my case, I'm gonna just inflate probably, let's see, something like, like for 12 finger long, something like 12 finger long is gonna be good enough. Okay, and then um, cut and save the rest for another knife. So with one balloon crumb, or what is you call these metallics? I don't remember the name, I already throw away the back. But 
but the name on in early text those metallic chroma chrome like would used to be in qualitex they are, they are good i like it you know so there we go so you have this like approximately 12 finger long leave a tip and now grab and this is cool i love it this balloon you thought you probably oh it's black no but it's dark brown so elites have brown like mocha brown kind of soft brown and also darker browns and the way these bags opens are really cool look how easy it's open and uh then you just grab a a dark brown i think it looks better for the handle let's see how it, it goes how dark this could be because it looks super dark but look you see it's brown and you don't need much just a little bit just a little bit to make one bubble pinch twist and another bubble pinch twist two bubble pinch twists will be good enough i think so and then just the handle pretending it's like four finger long and that's it cut okay save this for more knives and you can cut the excess because that is the ending you cut it to be, looks even cleaner and so you have something like this easy peasy easy peasy and now you just attach the end of uh, this part the tip so you want as close as possible so it looks stable so one way that you can do that to make it look stable is grab this part and while twisting it roll it you know around so it's gonna be more stable there okay so you have something like this the knife okay it can be this angle if you prefer now you're gonna do this effect squish twist in half and look you want you decide you want a little bit coming like as an angle so you just put it like this and i think it looks better if people can see also knife here and knife to the other side so you grab it wherever you want it to stay and nothing has to be a big deal you can always you know uh, accommodate it while it's already in there but i think it's gonna be easy for me this way so just grab it twist it and then pass one side and tie it okay tie it then you have it like this you can always accommodate it because i want this kind of like an angle like go as an angle and i want people be able to see it so that's kind of the effect you want to give you want the effect to go like in an angle or at least that's what i i saw in the picture the handle you can always put it like this and uh you can even make this uh, coming even more so it's up to you you see i'm just giving you some ideas okay i'm just giving you some ideas and this just for you to decide what to do okay so now one side up one side the other side i love it and now attaching it to your wand or scepter or bracelet and that's the cool thing about using linking balloons okay if you don't have you know the brand i'm using try you know like Serpentex, I'm sure they have really cool link balloon or what they call quick links. I don't remember. Okay, so this is already kind of the effect that is fun. And Friday the 13th, do it before it's over <laughs> and take a picture or make some TikToks. Okay, now Sharpie time. And that is going to be the, I recommend you pay attention. That's the picture I saw as my reference. So now the idea I've started with two eyes, okay? And two circles, pretty much two circles. So just Figure it out, the circle's kind of the half and a little bit up. So I see a face to face, that's very important. I always say that, right? This is true. The things that repeat more, probably the most true that pay attention on those things. You know, for a reason, I repeat it all the time. So, oh man, I was talking and talking and my market got dry. <laughs> no, that is already a dead Sharpie. You know, I, I use Sharpies all the time. <laughs> So big circle, I think the design looks better if the eyes kind of are like a big circle. Like probably three quarters of an inch. No, what is that? Um, One quarter? No, three quarters. Three quarters of an inch, right? Or an inch kind of circle. Then you're going to create something like here. Look, dot, 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 dot. Four dots and then two dots up two dots up that way like a little u that side then it's gonna be something like here the same idea pretty much one two three and then one two and then go down something represent the mouth part 
in the center it's gonna be four dots okay and then here let me see you have dots here 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 and then kind of like a little b but in points in a triangle one two and three and then here one two and three things that have to be perfect just try and do your best it's just full of dots everywhere seems like now with the red and that's another cool uh characteristic you just make kind of like a very wide triangle idea very wide and then here just into this area a little bit of triangles skinny ones and then here skinny triangles okay so this is pretty much if you make this people is going to recognize oh is that the guy that jason you can always you know with white kind of go with a little idea of a triangle where it goes the nose so find a good sharpie uh, and it's optional again and mine for some reason got contaminated with red and it looks kind of pinkish so sometimes guys instead of a fight what is going on you just make a prisma here it's okay you know it's kind of pinkish but it's just a little idea that that's where the nose kind of goes it is necessary it's not if you want add some blood here it's up to you i'm not gonna do it because in my mind it's like okay he's a zombie he doesn't have blood but look the design is ready i hope you like it tell me in the comments what do you think a bracelet or a wand i was like yeah why you didn't make the whole body well guess what guys there is a design check it out on my playlist halloween you will find jason and there is the whole body of a jason because i met him before so this is just kind of my fast version for today's Friday the 13th, enjoy it, make it, take pictures, tag me on Instagram, please tag me on Facebook, because at the end of my videos, I can share something with all of you, you know, that everybody, you know, made it, and that is a way to motivate each other, we all motivated, making balloons, keep twisting, another good thing I want to uh, mention too, don't forget, give some love to Colorful Inflations, because Colorful Inflations is also on Instagram, follow them, because every time, they're going to be surprising with some deals. Like, for example, on Halloween, I don't know if they have uh, the Halloween things on sale. I don't know. But for Christmas, probably. So check it out because uh, it's not yet the Christmas season. But um, right now it's going to be more, you know, Halloween. And the delivery is fast it's in the United States because I think they deliver in the United States and Canada. And I like it because it came, you know, I have it already to uh, kind of prepare myself. I have my outfits for Halloween, so I'm super excited. And I'm sure it's going to be the same for when it's yeah, Halloween, I mean, Christmas. Okay, too much, blah, blah, blah. Hey, guys, another cool invitation is Las Vegas Bling Bling Jump. It's the awesome balloon convention that I'm telling you, I love it. It's amazing. You learn a lot and you have a wonderful experience with nice people, friendly. I love it. Everybody there is so friendly that... I feel that's kind of uh, what I like in life. I love people the way they act and I want to be that. You know, for me, that's a good example of friendly people that I met in Las Vegas, that they became your balloon family. And I'm super excited every time I go there once a year and I, ah, we have fun, we jump, we have fun, we feel like free, just be yourself. And that's super cool because on top of that, you learn and you twist balloons all the time so you learn balloon twisting balloon entertainment balloon decor it's a mix of everything decor twisting and and you have a really beautiful time every year is better than the other one in my experience that i've been there and so i can't wait to go back for july uh 13 to july 17 2025th so the registrations are soon to be open so stay tuned okay i hope this video comes on time i'm sorry if it's not <laughs> just get excited it's friday at 13 i want to share something with you Bye-bye.